Despite numerous attempts to use other technologies, the spinner based tools remain the primary way to assess fluid velocities. Even the latest multiple probe tools use micro spinners placed at strategic points in the wellbore cross section. The actual spinners used in production logging flow meters are shown here. The spinner on the left is known as blade type and uh, it contains many advantages that makes it very useful in real applications. First, the blades can collapse or close like a flower when the tool is in reduced diameters. Secondly, when it opens, the blade diameter will typically be considerably larger than the other types of spinners. The spinner in the middle and in the right are called helical and turbine respectively. These designs are much more efficient than the blades. However, in practice, these are much smaller than blade spinners which reduce the torque applied by the fluid on them. Let's first discuss the types of spinner flow meters. The first type is the inline flow meter, which use helical or turbine spinners which have small diameters and they can be used to log in completions with restricted diameters tubing, scaled up wells, and other restricted completions. And the tool OD is 111.16. Due to the small spinner diameter, they have lower sensitivity slope and higher threshold, and may not be ideal for low velocity wells. Because of the small spinner diameter, good centralization of the tool is required. These flow meters have two connections and they can be used anywhere in the tool string. For this reason, these are typically considered as a backup of the main or larger diameter spinner located at the bottom of the string. The second type is the continuous flow meter, which is located at the bottom of the tool string and it is similar to the inline flow meters. These use turbine and helical spinners. As the spinner diameter can be larger than the tool OD, the sensitivity is improved and the, th and the threshold is reduced. The spinner is considerably protected from deformation. The third type is the full bore flow meter, which have larger blades that are exposed to a greater part of the flow cross section. When the blades collapse, the tool OD become 111.16 to pass through the tubing and the other restrictions. They expand and start turning when the cross section becomes sufficiently larger. Full bore flow meters have good sensitivity and they can be run for a wide range of flow rates and velocities. There may be issues with injectors where the blades may collapse when the flow coming from above is too great. As the blades can easily bend under strain, these tools are caged with bow springs or arms with rulers. In some cases, the cage of the full bore spinner acts as an XY caliber. Different blade sizes are available depending on the size of the casing to be locked. The fourth and last type of spinner flow meter is the diverter or basket flow meter. The diverter flow meter concentrates the flow towards a relatively small spinner. While they are highly efficient at low below flow rates, they aren't sufficiently rugged to withstand logging passes and are primarily designed for stationary measurements. The tool shape often affects the flow regime. 